All right, CV, first things first, man. How you been? How's the entire, like, past six months been? I've been good. I've been blessed. I've been building my body up mentally, physically, all that good stuff. It's been a blessing, man, especially these last two months. Yeah. Uh, I've really been on the train. It just completely healed and moving and grooving. You've been playing ball up in uh, Michigan, you know, back home and everything. How's that been like? Well, not really. I haven't. Oh, I've been playing for Flint. You correct. Um, I just played with a team for the summer league that I used to play with um, before I was in the W, and it was a it was really fun. We won the championship, and getting that comfort back under my wing is really important, you know. So it's been a lot of fun, like big blessings, man. What do you want these teams to know about you? Like, what what do you bring into the table? Everything like that. Oh my goodness, I want them to know that I bring so much energy and. Positive vibes and a, a winning mentality in the in the locker room and on the floor. You know, tenacity, resilience. I hate losing, so I don't lose. You know, we learn from everything. And camaraderie, like, I'm a chemist, so whatever, whoever I'm with, like, we gon' I'm going to rock with you. If it's a big dog in there, they got their way of living around the locker room, then look, I can... I can, I can tap in, I can get with that. So, you know, I'm always wanting to play with the best of the best so I can be my best and I can always be my best. But you know, challenging yourself against the best and every night in practice or in games, you know, that's, I was born to do that, so. How is it to, uh, I guess, you know, like really watch a game like this? Obviously a big game, great basketball at the beginning, especially back and forth competitive, great finish at the end. But like, it's also like, you know, you still got something left in the tank. How is that kind of balance when you watch the games? I think more, it's so hard watching the game when, so my favorite thing is to watch the game, but it's so chess. And when you see somebody playing checkers, it's like, you be like, oh, I need to make sure I do this when I am out there. It's not just about being athletic. It's not just about being good at shooting. Like you have to shoot on rhythm. You have to shoot in rhythm. You have to move in rhythm. like. And when you're watching and you're not playing, you see how offbeat you are and or how many times you took a shot when this person was a hot hand. Like, it's always so weird as a fan yeah. when you watch somebody else shoot yeah. and somebody just made two or three shots already. Yeah. You know, like, it's stuff like that that you really want to be aware of when you're actually playing. You want whatever the, the fans are thinking, you want them to feel like they are a remote like they have a remote in their hand right and they moving you like right. crystal got it shoot it Chris, and then the next thing you know i'm shooting right so that's kind of how you play the game like you want to be in sync you know all right cb so so with you saying that but before we recorded you said nice to meet you nice to see you i've seen some of your stuff so like like you say you see the positive you see the negative of what the fans say now watching as a fan and like you just said it's a whole different perspective do you understand some of the some of the things folks be saying online, including myself, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Airplane. Yeah. Commercial break. Yeah. Um. Whoo. He hit me with that one. No, that's a good question. That's a, a, an excellent question. But I think with a lot of fans, they they forget the compassion part. Yeah. Um. I think some people don't do it just because they can't. Mm. If you got it, you got it. And I think a lot of people just don't. And I think it's important to play a role. And if you don't got it within that role, yeah. you just ain't got it. So yeah. I think people are so hard on others, not realizing they just ain't got it. <laughs> mm. um, so like just with things, even like mistakes that different athletes make, Yeah. why would you be in that situation? Like, you don't understand. <laughs> like, this person grew up in that situation. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. No. So you've never been in that situation. So, so? I think as a fan though, I agree. YouTubers, opinionators, I think they can still speak on it. Yeah. But to not end it with with compassion right. or under a level of understanding. Right. I think it's always important with opinions to have it balanced. Don't right. just go like this in yeah. the conversation. Like if you're speaking about R. Kelly, don't just well he's this 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 and that. It's gotta have some balance because you like his music. Yeah. And it was talking about what he was doing. Yeah. So. We got to have compassion and understanding with, with, with everything. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess, uh, you know, pretty much, uh, I'm pretty sure you talk about this with Bailey and uh, everything's kind of like moved past it and stuff. But just speaking on last year, kind of sure. everything going from last, what, what have you learned? Like, I guess, like, 
it, it, it could be what have i learned yeah it could be as an adult it could be just as a professional athlete like what have you really learned about i guess like people switching up on you like when things get tough what have you learned if you learned anything for sure for sure I learned that, you know, chess is on the court and off the court. It's always a chess move. Somebody, you know, people do anything to get that queen off the, off the, off the uh, board. Sometimes they may risk a lot to do that. You know, sometimes, you know, people have their own styles. It's, it's one game, but it's a, a thousand ways to play it. So, you know, perspective is everything. So I see perspective in a, a lot of different, I see my perspective has changed, I would say. Um, in different ways, especially with business, you know. So everything, you know, with business, there's no loyalty in business. And I think we teach, our culture teaches, you know, as African Americans, we definitely teach each other, like, loyalty over everything. But um, nobody tells you that there's no loyalty in business, and they don't tell you, you know, different things like the little codes, the underlying codes that just kind of come natural. You know, I was raised, I'm an inner city kid from Detroit. So I was raised off survival. And it's made me the person I am today, really lethal, you know? So like I was talking with the last question, everything come with balance, you know, understanding the balance. So, you know, I'm always growing. I'm always trying to levitate, elevate, until I'm just right where I want to be in the right realm. And I'm still working on that, so. But basketball has taught me a lot in life. But now, you know, life is starting to teach me stuff. Now when I'm on the court, I'm taking stuff from life. If that makes sense. So, you know, yeah, I'm blessed, man. I don't have any regrets. I'm blessed with these opportunities. Without the Atlanta Dream, I wouldn't be standing here today. So I'm super blessed. I know people in the office that I still have so much love to uh, for. You know, Coach DT was like, he was a he was a big figure of mine. Like he taught me stuff where stuff I probably should have known in college or in high school. I didn't necessarily been aware of, and no judgment. Just took his time in a patient way and taught me little things that I still carry with me on the defensive end, you know, so, you know, stuff like that. CB, Chris or Bradford, we appreciate it so much. Well, what's something else that you want the people to know? Anything like this your time? Something else I want the people to know is just love, compassion, and understanding. I think um, we really can just go ahead and state our opinions, but just go ahead and understand that, you know, it's all love. Like, everybody is pretty much jacked up. <laughs> so it's all love. Like, it's really bad. Sometimes it's really bad how things look. And then it's just all love. Just let it be all love. Because at the end of the day, as much as y'all hate LeBron, as much as you hate KD and James Harden, it's really all love. Like, we really just out here playing a game. We making real big mistakes. Like, everybody, real big mistakes. So let's just love it. everybody, like, with their mistakes, you know? Human. As long as ain't nobody hurting or harming somebody else, it's all love. CB, I appreciate it so much. Thank you.